Warning, while this project is meant to be informative, it is also for your entertainment. Not all comments made in the film are true and material was moved around to make the film humorous. Don't hate, appreciate. Hi Ryan, welcome to the team. We start tomorrow. Feel free to introduce yourself to some of the areas to get to know everybody, alright? So how I work with the GFOs from a support perspective, um, I recruit uh, employees essentially. Actually now more so interns and uh, what we're going to be dubbing returnees, people returning to work uh, in September. Hi, my name's Ryan. Uh, I'm an intern here at Dow Jones. Uh, this is my first day on the job. Rob just hired me, and I'm excited to walk around and introduce myself to everyone. Everyone seems pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I met a few people in my department. Very nice people. The office is pretty confusing, though. Still don't know my way around. Uh, I don't understand the whole bays thing. Bay one, two, three, four, however many there are. Um, yeah, so I haven't really found my way around yet. Um, the coffee machine is cool though. I like the machines downstairs. I like the coffee with milk. It's pretty good. Carlos says the milk is good, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'll get around to that. But yeah, let's, we'll see how the first day goes. Hi, Lori. My name's Ryan. Nice Hi, to Ryan. meet you. This nice is my meet first you. day in the office as an intern here at Dow Jones. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. Um, Lori Dunbar. I run the GFO department. Welcome. Enjoy your first day. Thanks. What do I do? At Global Finance Operations. We run everything in the back office from payrolls, accounts payable, accounts receivable, incentive compensation, billing, invoicing, um, royalties, travel and entertainment, you name it, that's back office, we take care of it. Um, so GFO has a main hub in Princeton, New Jersey. We also have a few folks that work out of our New York 1211 office. Um, then we have a, a rather sizable group in London um, at the News Building in uh, general downtown London. And in Hong Kong, we have uh, several people there that um, work out of our Hong Kong office. And, and we have our Chicopee office, which manages uh, the consumer processing of payments and mail processing for the consumer side. We are truly, truly global and we maintain 24-7 service. I've been very fortunate to only have positive interactions with Lori. Um, so I mean, it's, it's always fun talking with her and the team in itself. It seems like she leads a great group and everybody else kind of follows suit to her leadership. I'm often told that people do fear me, which kind of makes me chuckle because I'm not a very scary person but it's all good. I am the uh, manager of the metrics team. So our role is basically to uh, do whatever Lori tells us to do, um, which usually means um, we do uh, a lot of reporting. So we do uh, metrics that cover all of the global finance operations department. Um, we prepare a very hefty, very hefty quarterly deck um, for Lori on a quarterly basis. And then on top of that, we do uh, just a lot of ad hoc analysis, a lot of reporting um, that pretty much goes all over the place. So, like I said, tattling. What would I do if I were CEO for a day? Well, I think the question is really when I'm CEO for a day. And the answer would have to be fire all the words. I am. Sean Dwight Plant, and I am the Assistant Regional Manager of Dunbar Medical. Did he say that? No, no, no. He's assistant to the...
So being the head of treasury requires me to make sure that all the financial assets of the company are secure and safe. We manage the bank accounts, the currencies, the cash, um, work with the other groups in terms of managing remittances. Uh, what else? Seriously? <laughs> Uh, my role in GFO, actually, um, oh, I'm, pro I'm a project manager in Treasury, and I do a bunch of things. Um, primarily, my focus is working on um, various projects, implementing uh, Treasury technology. So whether it's a, a new Treasury workstation, um, balance reconciliation tool, uh, intercompany netting, anything that has to do with Treasury and technology, I kind of bridge the gap between our team and IT. In addition to uh, my treasury technology responsibilities. I also you know, support my colleagues, my manager, work a lot with um, News Corp on the different technology initiatives. So it quite, makes things quite interesting. So what do I do with the projects department? I'm a project manager, part of a two-person department that sees the day-to-day -day operations over the beginning to the end of the projects that we are currently assigned to. Um, yeah. There's times where Syed and I have to alternate on a 9 o'clock p.m. call every Tuesday with Asia that takes anywhere between nine to or an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how long we have to stay on it and my dogs are barking in the background. I always get questioned as I'm giving an update, what's going on, and it's only because we have to talk to Tokyo and Shanghai and Hong Kong and Beijing and the people there to make sure that one of the projects we're working on is actually moving forward. So let's start with my one of my prized possessions, March Madness office pool winning. Um, actually, it's third place, but nobody can actually see that. It's just a trophy, you know, we like trophies. And then I have my um, my little Barbie doll. So this was uh, so that when I got my watch, because you need Barbie hands in order to actually work the watch, it, it works out that way. And then um, I have like little stress releasers. So I have you know the Taj Mahal in case I want to go there in my head. We've got this beautiful orange sand from North Carolina, which is just so relaxing. If you get really stressed, you always have the Dutch straw, which you know contains things that you might need. If you're really thirsty or if you're really stressed, of course, only after hours this happens. But, you know, we've, we've got a few, a few different ones. Funny, they uh, came from lots of different people. So people must know there's a lot of stress that goes on here. You know, it all works. So my role in GFO is credit and collections. I'm a collections analysis and what that means is once sales gets somebody to subscribe to our new services and they don't pay their bills, I have to call them and call them and call them and call them. If we don't get the money in, that's not a good thing, but we get the money in and then some. So the party plan committee consists of, well, pretty much a couple of us, but mainly my ideas because they're the best. And we throw parties, birthday parties, town hall parties, um, anything dealing with uh, cake. Um, I'm pretty much in charge of all of that. There's been other times where we've had other people throw parties and they just weren't as good. We threw a Halloween event for the fun committee and there were several different types of punch that we had. Um, we, I, we made juice and also had a different type of decorations in the juice. Some of the juices had candy in it. One of the juices in particular uh, had eyeballs in it. There were these plastic eyeballs that had a mustard covering underneath them to almost look like eyes looking out of blood. The juice was red, you can infer. So James walks in and James Grossman is not you. I, I'm not putting you on blast. So James walks in, takes a look at the ball and the juice, takes a scoop of the juice, puts it in his cup, drinks it, includes the plastic eyeball, takes a bite out of it, crunches into the eyeball, and says, 
this doesn't taste like candy. So we look around at each other and we say, it's, it's a plastic eyeball. You weren't supposed to bite into that. So this person awkwardly takes the ball out of their mouth and there's like this big chunk missing and they throw it away. And we haven't seen him or her at a fun event since. Well, Global Payment Services, basically it's all the cash that goes out the door here at Dow Jones. So if you get paid, um, if you get your paycheck, if you get your t and &E reimbursement, it goes through my team. So, uh, so you should be thankful that my team is in place or else otherwise nobody would get any money around here. <laughs> I have not missed a Lori Dunbar barbecue since I've known her. I can't believe it's the last one either. There better be a cup or something from Lori. I want like, I want like a beer stein or something like that, you know, or maybe like an award for being there ever since I met you. What is my favorite snack in the vending machine? I guess my answer would be yes. My name is Spencer Richardson, and my role here at Dow Jones is I'm an accounts receivable specialist. I work for the accounts receivable team. We're in charge of all the money that comes in. We process it to customers' accounts. We deal with customers' questions. And basically, we're just the finance police when it comes down to the money. A typical day here at Dow Jones is you got to get here promptly, early, get your best parking spot, get your coffee first, or you're waiting a half an hour in line, and then you get down to work. Uh, typical day at work would be I'm probably the first one to arrive around 9.30 and the last one to leave around four. There are no typical days at work for me. Um, no, I mean, I, there's a lot of meetings, there's a lot of meetings, um, make a lot of decisions, mostly on the fly, mostly as I'm walking past somebody's desk. Um, yeah, we get a lot done, but uh, there's no typical day. You can make a list, and I often do, and they stay unchecked for several weeks, months, maybe even a year. They might never get to them because just happens. And you gotta take care of that because, you know, it happens. Hi, my name is Sonal Taneja. I'm a sourcing manager at Dow Jones. So what I do at Dow Jones as a sourcing manager is that whenever somebody in the company wants to um, contract with an outside vendor, we help uh, do a competitive bidding process, negotiate rates, make sure that we're doing our due diligence in selecting a vendor, and help uh, negotiate the contracts. In my free time, you will find me boating, hence the nice tan. Um, live on my boat from Friday to Sunday. We fish at least once a weekend, if not more. And uh, any and, uh, plans that happen on a weekend in the summer, I say no. I teach Bollywood dance classes on the side, um, and I've toured with a bunch of playback singers from Bollywood. So I've done that on the weekends and um, quite a bit over the past couple years. I own my own detailing business, so after work, I do cars, motorcycles, boats, and that's it. Yeah. Hey, it's in the field. <laughs> Uh, my role in GFO is uh, working with the billing team. Uh, my name is Dave Nguyen, by the way. I'd love to introduce myself. I've been here for about two and a half years, started in October of 2015. Um, and I mainly do the, uh, do the billing. So invoices, clearing the errors or anything like that uh, for billing. Um, that's majority of my role. Um, I work with Factiva, Sibs, of course. Um, SCS, all that whatnot, um, print advertising as well. Basically, I do everything except uh, MB and digital for the billing on the billing side. Um, other than that, uh, that's about it. Um, I would like to say something interesting, but I'm just an analyst, GFO, or a processor in global billing. 
I'm in the Newswires team. That's what I do. And in summary, we process order forms, contracts via sales orders. We also process cases to update addresses, contact information, and update users, just to mention some actions in an existing account. In addition, we process retail and wholesale vendor reports. Uh, two things that um, in the office nobody, that nobody may know about me is um, I am a, a aquarium hobbyist. I love fish, uh, invertebrates, shrimp, you know, uh, snails, all that whatnot. I can go hours and hours and talk about them. I'd rather not because I get sidetracked real quick. Um, the other one is uh, I do. I am a uh, soccer um, soccer fanatic. Uh, Chelsea, if you guys don't know who that is. Um, I do root for them, so come on you know, Friday or Saturday or Tuesday, Monday, and there's a game on, I'm like, not in the work. Like, my mind's out somewhere else at the game. What are two things I think no one in the office knows about me? Um, well, I'm going to go with I am secretly 50 years old. And um, I'm going to go with I hate everyone. Um... Well, Sean and I are having a secretive affair. That would probably be something that nobody actually knows. Um, second one? I don't, that, no. No. This is getting so funny here. I'm just having a half brush. So my role here at Dow Jones, my name is Keithi Mahajan. I work in controls and compliance team. I am the go-to person for any issue with the billing systems. I work on SOX and ENY audits and um, I'm involved with almost every project we do here. For me, every day is the same. What do I like about the office? <sighs> I'd rather talk about what I don't like about the office. And what I don't like is that I can't bring my cat. And this is a picture of my cat. This is Princess Lady. And she is a phenomenal companion. And I really enjoy going home after a long day here and brushing her and making her look pretty. Oh my God, what do I think about this job? A Mexican, what do you expect? All we do is work. Being the head of the sales incentive is kind of a lot of pressure, to be honest, because we have to deal with all the sales organizations and also we have to keep our financial record kind of like uh, uh, within stink. That's, that's to me the biggest challenge here. And fortunately, I have a very good team. They are able to help me kind of like to finish all the tasks over there. So that's basically what I can see the sales incentive from the functionality and the, how my team is doing. It's a lot of fun. I got a lot of support from Nori and every time I have a questions, I, I just stop by. I'm not, I don't need to like make an appointment or whatever. I just stop by, ask her suggestions. I always get like fully support from her. So I love the best way. If I could have one superpower, what would it be? Um, I think I would have to go with the ability to be invisible so that I could creep around the office and find out everyone's secrets and then blackmail them. The funnest part about Sean is like, I don't need to look around, I can hear the sound and know if Sean's coming or not. <laughs> <laughs> What is my favorite part of my day at work?
and get my coffee at Starbucks before I even get here. Yeah, that's my day. My favorite part of my day is actually on Tuesdays. I love Color Me Tuesdays. I like going down and uh, having like 20 minutes to just color a unicorn or whatever it is. <laughs> Favorite part of the day is lunch, baby. I tell you what my least favorite part of the day is. It's when Sean Plant comes over to my desk and starts talking and talking about all the stuff that he's done. He's done such a great job or whatever it is that he does. You know what I'm saying, bro? Leaving. Walking out the door. to be the coach of the GFO softball team. Um, it's been a lot of fun to be the coach. Um, I like to give everybody their own kind of nicknames to get people excited about the team. So Margaret on the collections team, she's Maggie Boom Boom. Uh, we have Joe Cartaxo, who's Jolton Joe Cartaxo. There's Kristen Zack, who's Zack Attack. Uh, John Nice is John Not So Nice. Um, Eric Dunn, he's just lame. Um, <laughs> Otherwise, up and up, but it's, it's good. It's a good group of people. Everybody tries hard and we try to have a lot of fun. So I don't participate in the GFO softball team because I don't play games at work. I play them at home. The league is not very competitive at all. Um, from a rival perspective, we don't really have any. We're that good. They compete, but by no means are they a competitor to us. Let me ask my friend. He says no. Mike actually won a game from a forefoot, but then made his play and we lost ultimately. Oh. Right? Wait, when I made that like awesome what? catch in the outfield? No, that, no, that happened. That totally happened. No. Not yes, really. it did. In the it outfield? did. Yes. Maybe when you were catching. No, it was right field. No. Yes. Because no. you were like, oh my god, that was perfect. I don't remember who we played though. Mm -hmm. It totally happened. I'll let you have it. It totally happened. I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure it happened. It's like right there. It's pretty awesome. It's a catcher. Not outfield. Right field. I think it happened in your dreams. Don't listen to him. My cats play with balls. I don't play with balls. That's what she said. <laughs> So one of the funny stories I have is actually about um, one of our intern's cousins, Vivian, uh, who came in one day to work with this bright, bright yellow shirt. Um, basically like neon yellow, like if we turned off the lights in the office, you would have seen her from about a mile away. And actually her shirt was actually the inspiration for the softball shirts we have today because it was so bright and we noticed her from like a mile away that we decided to get shirts that everybody would recognize when we're out on the softball field. So. Um, sorry, I'm having trouble finishing with the sandwich. You gonna finish those munchkins over there? You're all good. You know, describing the GFO department in one word or phrase is easy. We are the machine. Um, chaotic. Easy and fun. Two words. Um, teamwork. My one word is global, but it's in there. So can I use it? Summer camp. Calories. Lots and lots of calories. Candy, Cheetos, potato chips, chocolate. So I've been told I'm a really good boss, like the best boss ever, and like a hilarious boss. So, you know, I think this kind of sums it up. I found that at Spencer Hughes.
So uh, GFO, the global, oh my gosh. <laughs> So you're asking me about project management, which is interesting because it's not really what I do. <laughs> so you want to talk about somebody who likes to eat? Like you talk about me liking to eat? You should go interview Eric Mantone. And by the way, just count your fingers after you leave if you go next to his bag of M&Ms. The best part of GFO, right? That's the question. I wasn't paying attention. Explain GFO in one word. I, re I actually really have. How do I gain video cutting? How? How do I <laughs> Make sure you put a filter on. I feel real red right now. <laughs> <laughs> Recruit candidates now mostly interns and also returnship, which we'll be launching in the September area. Um, we're gonna have to redo that. I don't know where the September area is. <laughs> is that a Pam smile? Okay. <laughs> you are recording that, right? Yes, I You are. <laughs> I'm doing what I want. Did you tell me to go? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you call, <laughs> call right on the moon. And she looks at us and she says, Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 so I need to give her googly eyes at some point. Like, no. No? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I got it, right? <laughs> Can we get a bumper reel of this, please?